Welcome to Pokemon Go Podcast, where we don't open anybody's gifts because we don't like friends. <laughs> I'm Rock on a Podcast with Charles McFall and uh, Ride Shotgun, as per usual. Joe and Bracey underscore Ard. It, it's true. Uh, you definitely don't open gifts, and I even called that out to the person we raided last, last week. They were like, should I send you a gift? <laughs> and I typed in the chat, he won't open your gift. I, you know, it's nothing personal. It really isn't. You never know where the Rona's going to come from. I can't be taking risks. That's okay. She immediately yeah. said that she was going to remove you from her uh, list regardless because she doesn't have room for you. <laughs> what, what, so, wait. We did not friend. Did we friend? We didn't friend. No, we did friend up you, the, the you person did. right now. Yeah. The, yeah. The person they, they, she got on the screen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, hey, for the podcast, uh, we do this live on Twitch.tv. Every Thursday night at 8, well, roughly every Thursday night and roughly 8 p.m. Eastern. You know, it is what it is. We, we try to get as close as Team Rocket lets us. Uh, but, yeah, we raid somebody on the stream after a show. And, uh, yeah. So, now that's fair. You know what? Fair enough. If you're a hardcore or even just an active player, you don't need me slowing you down. You don't need me getting up on, on that friends list bringing it down. Uh, but that is only part of what we call to talk about. So uh, I'm actually pulling up our, our, I'm pulling up last week's episode for the anchor so I can get the responses uh, from our chat. But before that, Joe, what's been your experience this week? Oh man, this week has been crazy IRL. Uh, I haven't, I haven't played much to be honest. Actually, uh, the people who were here for the pre-show may have noticed that uh, I was claiming the, the Monday Pokeballs because I haven't had the game physically up on my screen long enough. I've been playing through the Pokemon Go Plus, but I haven't had it up on my screen long enough to actually even trigger the the Monday Pokeballs. So, you know, there's that. But mm, Sounds like you're embracing the casual, man. You're not a, living a, up- a little too much this last week, definitely. Uh, yep, I was hugging you this week. Um <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I did catch some stuff. I didn't get any, I mean, I didn't play nearly long enough to get a, a shiny slugma, let's be honest. Um, I did, however, I traded my, um, actually, it wasn't my Tortuga. He wants my Tortuga, the, uh, uh, the autistic guy at church. Yes. Um, he wants it, but he wanted um, Drudagon. I had an extra Drudagon, and he wanted it, and I'm like, all right. So, he actually, I, I never ask him for anything. He just trades me whatever he wants, to be completely honest. Uh, but he he does actually try to think of something that he thinks is nice. And he, Good. So he he tossed a glaring Mr. Mime at me, and that was pretty cool. Um, and so next That's week. That's awesome. Yeah, ne- this next week, I'm sure I'll trade the tor- uh, Tortuga to him. Cause now, pull up. Can you, do you have a regular, can you find a regular Mr. Mime to pull up for a stream for a minute? Uh, sure. Um, oh, maybe. I, I need to see the comparison. Okay. Uh Oh, apparently you don't. You said Mime oh, Jr. Weird. I searched for Mime, and it didn't pull up the Misters. I see the Mr. Mimes there. Yeah. Uh, grab one of the regulars. Let me see his face. We're going to just type in Mime. There we go. Today, right. G- yeah, this makes for a great podcast. Go just drag- I've seen it on your screen a dozen times already. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, that looks more like animation anime. Galarian looks like a reject from the Muppets. It looks like, hey, let's make a Muppet that is going bald and nobody cares about. Yeah, no. You know, tell me I'm wrong, Joe. <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the crumpet show that we ordered on Wish. That's that's how we got that one. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I was talking about Mr. Mime with my kids the other day, and... Uh, and with my wife, and I remembered something uh, odd. So, Mister Mime, the first thing you think of when you think of mimes is they don't say anything, right? True. Mister yeah. Mime in Detective Pikachu doesn't say anything, but Mister Mime in the anime does. He says wow. Mister Mime all the time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so it, it's. Right. It, I, it was just a weird observation that I ha- I I didn't think of it when I was watching the anime, but in hindsight, I'm like, he shouldn't say Jack. 
Well, he didn't say Jack. He said Mr. Mueller. I mean, all right. But <laughs> you know what I mean. Shut, I... shut your yeah. mouth, Mr. Mine. <laughs> There's your title. All right. Hey, speaking of titles, if you're new here or you just want to remind her how to play along, you do exclamation point S and then hit the space bar and I'm going to put uh, shut your well, you already said this, so we'll put, anyway. Shut your mouth, Mr. Mime. Okay, whatever. I just stopped typing. It's a, it's just it got out. Of hand. <laughs> That's how you do it. And, and so you can actually. Man, my headphones are messing around. Um, yeah, he's not Mr. Mime. He's Ash's dad now. <laughs> it's so creepy. But we let we let you, the live audience, name the actual podcast episode, and that's how you do it. You hear something funny you like. Or something we said, or some topic we hit, and you give us your version of the title. So, at exclamation point S, hit the space, and then type out what you want, and it'll be submitted. Uh, um, honestly, you know, I have to do age. I don't think. Um, you don't, don't think? think you should probably I, think more then. Should I though? That would be bad for the show. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing about the show is I don't think i just react and say dumb things that's my job here uh we here at pokemon go podcast i don't know i have nothing to say on that one uh but let's see i think i hit i think i did get a raid in uh i didn't miss one or two and i think it was just barely missed them because like oh one minute and i hit it and i mean because it it does it never says just now right whenever you get a raid invite it, it says one minute or something out of my notification screen by the time i got to it time had ran out uh before i could get in oh uh, what's the event box we got a remote raid pass uh 15 yeah, rats that's the normal box. one coin box and I, well, I actually in hindsight i did do three heat tran raids this weekend okay that's pretty cool let's see i saw you do an age zero dash seven yep age zero dash seven uh yeah, I got a heat train raid in and I got a shelmet. And that was the extent of my Pokemon uh playing this week. I could have sworn in the last seven days. Oh, you know what? I buried them all. Not buried, like Bury ba- Folk. All right. All right. <laughs> Not Barry B A R R Y, although he's gonna come up later in the show. Uh you know, I I candied. That's the word. Not buried, candied them all. Uh because I did I pulled up my gotcha at some point and uh because i remembered oh i think i was driving back through covington for some reason and uh before i left I'm like hey i'm going through that area i know there's a ton of pokemon and i, I turned on my gotcha but i think i went and just cleared out about 150 different pokemon and get rid of them yes so was, speaking of barry you can mention him right now you got a you sent a message to barry this past week uh or i guess forwarded a message from a certain nomad uh I, you know what you you make connections where you can make connections so if you want to talk about barry hey guys it's- nope that's not it Let's try this one Take me to church. my brothers and sisters of the pokey church i am the brother pastor dogwood here to give you some more news we have had some, <laughs> some downfalls from brother brother deacon Gerard, who is not <laughs> opening up his gifts from the philistine imaginary nomad now i know he's a philistine he is a rocketist he does not believe in arceus at all <laughs> but brothers and sisters of the jury wait I, wait I, wait 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 this what? is this is a church the people up in those pews that's the choir that is not a jury brother brother deacon joe i've been to a ba- baptist church before it's about the same thing <laughs> <laughs> brothers and sisters of the church i implore you to help joe find the light and in the meantime in the meantime brother phil the philistine the rocketist that denies arceus he reached out to deacon brother pastor barry to say hey barry be my new friend and i bet you we can get the best friends before joe now joseph I think he even reached out to you for reparations <laughs> in the Facebook. Open up to chapter one, verse two of the Facebook, and please read from that passage. It's true. 
Uh, <laughs> he used some choice language that I will not use on the uh, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> but basically, to paraphrase, he said, open my gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go, Church of the Pokemon. Send in your Poke prayers. Get in your request. Cause I am Brother Pastor Dogwood, and I oh. here to keep Joe in line and make sure he opens your gifts. And <laughs> I, I do believe he said that he would become uh, best friends with Barry before he became best before friends. Before you and him become best friends. <laughs> That's the challenge. I, yes. I kind of want to ignore him just to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, um, so, yeah. Well, let's go. I got the experiences of the week open uh, on Discord, and you get to our Discord by going the long way around through patreon.com forward slash Pokemon Go podcast and joining our community that way. Kittens and Knives. Has got a shiny slugma. Uh, that really should be, you know, that that that's the one that makes sense. I mean, he cooled down, right? He turned to 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 magma. I don't know. Uh, I think he should be darker yeah. in color, personally. He, uh, he's yeah, too, see he's that. too ash colored instead of lava rock colored. Yeah, but in it, it, didn't he have some lava rock coloring in his normal formation a little bit? Or maybe no slugma. Uh, no, that's slugma. mad cargo. Mad cargo has a little bit. Yeah, Which, by the way. Back. Coach Kev, who is here tonight? Coach Kev! Wait, can't do that voice yet. Take me to church. Coach Kev, the faithful, has showed up for Easter and Christmas every year at the Poker Church. Uh, he's here tonight. <laughs> uh, he got a shiny slugma, a shiny macargo. Uh, kittens and knives again. Uh, Barboach. You know what? I gotta shiny do one more. I gotta, do one more. I gotta do one more. Take me to church. Kittens and knives, if you need the healings, you send in them pokey prayers, and I'll lay my big Mr. My mitts up on your forehead, and I shall bring you the healings. Take me to church. All right. Oh, no. All right. Oh, that's getting old. Uh, yeah. Get on more, no. more kids and knives. Uh, shiny nose. I like the shiny nose fast because it is very definitively easy to see that that's a shiny. Sure is. Go, goes for being a gray to being a gold nose pass. Oh, big but n- but it, it's just gold plated. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you had a nose like that. I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Tambourine oh, got a, a Mel Metal after what well, he said. After tons of rare candy and miles of walking. Interesting, because if I'm not mistaken, if you have the... Uh, Oh, which app is it? Uh, but the app that connects to the main series games, if you have that on your phone, you can send Pokemon directly from Pokemon Go to that, that app, and you can get a Mel Metal box. Yeah, uh, no, no. Mr. Yes. Tambourine, uh, you don't need the Switch anymore to get a Mel Metal box. Uh, you need uh, Pokemon Home, I think. <laughs> don't rub it in, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Rubbing it in would be that he brought it to uh, Pokemon Go Fest a couple of years ago, so that he could give people Mel Metal boxes. Uh, yeah, I used to bring my Switch to uh, all kinds of places, and you didn't bother to show up, Mister Tambourine. <laughs> yeah, I used to, I used to bring it to uh, community days, and I I'd, I'd end up with a line of people trying to get Mel Metal boxes from me, so. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, no, you scroll on down there. He he's got his first uh, murderous Aaron. Uh, you done messed up, a eh, Aaron. Except for there's only one A. Except so. there's only one A. I know, right? And then one more, Joe. I'm gonna let you handle that one. King I believe, of the Shinies, aka Nolte, who is here. That, that heathen Nolte who can't be bothered to get up at four in the morning to be here live because he's in Australia. Well, actually got up today and he's here with us. Yeah, he is here. He is one of the shinies. Uh, yeah, oh, so well. nine uh, shinies here. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Slugma, Nosepass, Machop, Meowth, Clink, and two Heatrans. I wonder if the Heatrans are identical IVs because they are identical CPs. Uh, interesting. That I would like to know that as well now. <laughs> that's pretty cool that's a cool thought uh and that is it for those experiences of the week 
But before we pass the offering plate, uh, we have got uh, some responses. Now, we actually are going to go back two weeks uh, because I posted the show late. So Discord, not Discord, um, Spotify. Spotify took a little bit longer to be able to answer this. So we asked two weeks ago, what is your Pokemon Go in 2022 going to look like? Uh, Rowlet6442 says, to be honest, very laid back and, or very chill. Rowlet's my kind of people right there. And then uh, I'm gonna, there's only one here on that. So I know you're going to do the Reddit in a minute. But last week's was what AR features would you like to see added to the game? Zach, man. Second time caller, first time listener says raids have legendaries shown in the in the real world. A raid, sorry, raids exclamation point have legendaries shown in the real world. Most of the time, this would be this would just be in my house. But hey, still need. I think not the best use of the tech, but an idea nonetheless. I love it. I think I think I kind of touched on that a little bit last week. Of like, I would love. Or no, we didn't talk about this last week. Did we talk off air about it? I talked to some of it. I think it'd be uh-huh. really cool to be do the AR raid and see this ginormous mega whatever you're going after well, and battling it. That's what know? they showed us with the initial trailer. Was that huge? Well, yeah, yeah. When they when they were talking they about raids, like hundreds of people battling one Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah showing everyone battling the Mewtwo in Times Square or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that would be pretty sweet pretty sweet that would be what do you have on the reddits for responses to the ar features uh so we have from optimal opposite 1251 uh make pvp look like a Yu-Gi-Oh battle i am curious to know the extent to what he means by that um it's cause... been a long time since i've played um, a video game or seen the anime of Yu gi oh so i'm looking it up see i, uh, I used to play the tcg a lot like a lot a lot um yeah yeah i went to regionals at one point for anyway um so that's not rubbing it in at all (laughs) i didn't make it very far in regionals but i did go to regionals uh anyway so uh with Yu-Gi-Oh, um it is semi-turn based with uh you being able to also make reactions during the opponent's turn as well uh and so i wonder if that's kind of what he's saying is make it more turn-based instead of real time uh with being able uh, to have your reactions similar to your shields and things like that because we don't fully have the normal real time because they they put the shields in because they took away the um dodging because in raids and in gym battles you can dodge um but in well, i mean nobody bothers dodging these days unless they're trying to like two mana raid or one mana raid, whatever. Um, but, um, that dodging mechanic, it didn't, uh, equate well to real time between two different devices. So they switched the, yeah, the functionality to the shield. I, I did, uh, on raids, right. I do the dodge, not to actually dodge, but to uh, like, if I, like, I think you and I were, um, you and I were in the same raid, I think, uh, last week. I'm not entirely sure on the show. <laughs> so you dodged uh, around to get next to me? I dodged around to try to see if I <laughs> show up on your screen. I never quite saw that happen. So Ed Nolte did answer. A one, it's 12 p.m. here. Normally at work, but currently away on the holidays. Well, thank you for bringing us on your holiday, Nolte. And then, uh, specifically, those heat trans are different IVs, even though they're the exact same CP. Well, all righty then. All right, then. Uh, what should be the discussion? Oh, I, you know, here's the discussion for next week. How horrible of a friend are you that you don't open friend gifts? <laughs> Specifically me? Well, or I mean, in general, anybody can give their thought process on it. But uh, <laughs> I think what we're going to hear from, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Philistine is uh, specifically you, Joe. Uh, Phil, if you leave a speak pipe, uh, can you not swear? <laughs> yeah no phil you're not allowed to leave speak pipes i don't have time to edit that crap <laughs> yeah. keeping it real boo uh i don't know <laughs> no do you have a do you have a a, a talk uh, uh mr timberry 19 says i can't remember the last time brother charles opened one of my gifts 
That's because you have a drinking problem, sir. I shall lay my big Mr. Mom mitts on you and snorlax the alcohol out of you. But hell. That's actually hard to do. The sleeves are really, really short. I mean, for, for being a huge Snorlax onesie, this that's about as far as I can reach sitting here. It gets, and you can see my fingers coming out. Anyway. Oh, you know what? Mr. Shimmery says I'm healed. <laughs> uh, um, so I see you put in next week's discussion. What, what is next week's discussion? I put exactly what you well, not exactly. Yeah, but, are, are, are you a bad friend if you don't open slash send gifts? Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um, I'll take it. Uh, uh, oh, you, you asked I, it. You shall receive. Yes. Everybody's getting in on this uh, one trick pony. I love it. Uh, so uh, uh, we did have some Twitter interactions this week, actually, before we go into the headlines and everything else. Yeah, we did. And, you um, got called out on Twitter. Uh, well, see, no, I disagree. I think it was just a factual statement. If Charles can make level 40, anybody can make level 40. That is unarguably facts right there. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel triggered at all. However, well, I don't still don't feel triggered by this. I thought it was fun. Uh, but um, somebody else apparently has the same Storlax onesie. And, Joe, I remember you, you actually took the screenshot of me, right? And you posted it out on Twitter going, I wonder how long it's going to last. And, of course, my response is, I'm wearing it tonight because it's cold. So as long as it's cold, Snorlax shall show up well, for the show. And did you see what my comment was about that? Say it again. I don't remember. You, you're going to wear it until it gets warmer. <laughs> <laughs> until the weather uh, the weather gets warmer. Yeah. So uh, somebody else jumped in, took a picture. Uh, you know, I, I know the screen name, right? But I don't know the real name. But they showed they showed an empty Storlax ones in the couch. I immediately jumped in his Pokemon Go podcast and said, "Oh my God, did Charles get raptured?" Nah, we know Charles won't go to heaven. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that was uh, Liz posted that. Okay, but it um, was. Did you see the inside of it? It wasn't fully empty. Inside the hood. Man, it, Inside the hood was a Snorlax uh, um, plushie. It was a Snorlax. Thunder I Snorlax. did not catch that. Good catch, Joe. I did not see that. So I, I'm good on you. Uh, so I'm just saying anybody out there, you got your Pokemon onesie. You need to get in it. Take the picture. I'm not scared. I'm here on live national TV right now, preaching the good word of the Arceus and wearing my onesie. So I want to see your pictures, uh, but I did make a caveat. It's like, I will wear this as long as it's cold, unless somebody buys me an incredible Hulk for a onesie. <laughs> then I'm wearing that one instead. I love that. One. So but that, that was our exchange this week. And, uh, and now I'm wanna... just imagining you in the Snorlax onesie, but with the, the Hulk smash gloves. <laughs> uh so yeah uh if you want to tag us on twitter it's at pokemon go podcast i'm at rock on a pod no, it isn't it's yeah. at pokemon go pod you liar. oh you're right just like rock on a pod because you can't get the full word out of there you're right pokemon go pod rock on a pod and uh joe underscore ard which is where embrace underscore comes from right now brothers and sisters we're gonna pass that offering plate so you make sure to make it rain gold so i get my gold plated toilet seats or we're not gonna have church no more <laughs> Take me to <laughs> uh, markers in. Uh, oh, I'm gonna man. knock out this uh, grunt real quick here. Uh, uh, so, uh, oh yeah, we're gonna talk. I, I, I want to keep it in my mind because sometimes I have to rush off, or sometimes I forget. But I, I, I still want to ask you about the uh, the interview process because I'm sure our patrons are curious because we've been updating us each week. I've got a we're link for you. Do you, Pokemon non-slip bathroom contour toilet. Oh no! Did you find? Oh, I gotta click on this show. I'm clicking. A clickbait. Oh, oh, so all right. We're talking about this. We're talking about this. All right, all right. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right, I got this super team rocket thing going on. Uh, <laughs> oh man! So only live do you get this middle part. Uh, well, that's not true. Live, Patreon.com, and YouTube is where you get this middle part um so still not very many people so yeah you guys get this all right 
Uh, got him. Let me put the marker in. Oh, let me pick some music. Come back to and click. Let's see that one. And All right, we'll put the marker in. You know, again, I've never seen this anime that this one's in where it's singing about Viridian City. Uh, I've been to Viridian City once in uh, Let's Go, uh, Let's Go, uh, Evie. And uh, the music, though, I mean, it's just poppy, catchy. Uh, this cover of it, uh, Jonathan, uh, I can't even remember his last name. But uh, he he just he makes you want to sing along, you know. Uh, so, all right. So I talked about passing the plate to uh, get my gold plated toilet covers. Joe found something better. It is going on the Amazon wish list. It is a three piece bath set mat set for Pokemon, and actually, it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the way they put that together, the Pokeball is all the shadows of the pokemon uh red on top white on the bottom of course uh muse there I see it's got a, a mat that goes around the toilet a toilet seat cover and of course a bath mat that goes with it and uh that's our new outrageous church moment is to raise the funds to buy this so it's, <laughs> ah, two of them two of them it's only got 2.5 stars though but it's the only one that i found on a quick search on Amazon. That was yeah. Cool. Brother Deacon Joe has to get one too. Uh, <laughs> switch accounts. No, not ready. Sure. Ah, oh, clicked the wrong stupid thing. All right. Uh, Joe, we've got some headlines to discuss while I'm trying to get to the right Amazon account. Yeah. And we okay, we did our air features. I, uh, do you want to start with the APK or you want to do something else? I think, I think we want to start with the LAPD officers. Oh, so yeah, okay, 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 okay. So this came from my wife. She found this article. Is this the one I texted you, Joe? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. thank you. I forgot about it because I did want to talk about it. Uh, my wife found this and texted it to me. I will read the headline, and I can't. I can't even go into the story. It cracks me up. It's sad. It's sad, but it cracks me up too much to read it. So Joe's gonna. Joe's gonna be the serious one. Uh, <laughs> LAPD officers fired for playing Pokemon Go on duty which is not the bad part during active robbery. They got they were playing Pokemon go denied an appeal. Now, Joe, give us some more details on, on what it means to play Pokemon go during a robbery. All right. So, uh, the incident in question actually happened uh, almost five years ago. Now in 2017, the officers, <laughs> decided that they did not want to respond to a call for backup uh from a robbery instead uh they were playing pokemon go uh and they even lied about their current location they were actually apparently pretty close to where the the robbery was taking place uh but instead they went to a different part of town to, to go catch a snorlax <laughs> Wow. See? Go! yeah go catch a snorlax okay look five years ago I almost understand exactly what <laughs> they did. It is so stupid hard to get the Snorlax. But yeah. come on. <laughs> yeah, the game it was April 2017, so the the game had been out for what 9 months ish. So still the first year of the game. But yeah. Yeah, so they they the reason why this is coming back up, and there's actually a bunch of different news articles from it. To, we're using the one from USA Today. But uh, the reason why this is coming back up is they appealed. Uh, they challenged the city's decision to fire them. The city said, no, you're fired. And and they... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just got to... That's the whole skit, right? Like on TikTok. Can, no, no, no. Can we, can we stay? No, you're fired. <laughs> So, yeah, no, they did not get their jobs back after uh, willfully uh, ignoring a, a request for backup. And um, there was somewhere the so there were recordings from the officer's digital in-car video system uh, that 
so they they have little snippets of, in the article that they quoted. Uh, they were like, "I don't want to be his help," or, uh, "Oh no!" One of them was like, "Oh, Snorlax just popped up at Forty Sixth and Limert." <laughs> So, sorry. It's not funny, but it cracks me up. And so then it says, oh. it says for the next 20 minutes after ignoring the request, they were discussing Pokemon oh. as they drove to different locations to catch them. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, okay. So. The oh, by the way, you got to We got to We got to have this here. They caught the Snorlax. It says so well, in the article. Right. <laughs> it, 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 okay, that changes everything. Though. You caught it. It's worth it. That reminds me, man, when uh, uh, they did some kind of launch, not the game launch, but it was one of the first um, uh, release of a new Pokemon or something. Bo York was on. It's me, you, Ibbitt, and, and Bo. And all of a sudden, he's like, oh, there's a whatever. And he just picks off, off camera, off recording, runs out of his house. To go catch whatever whatever it was. It, um, it was a meganium. Yeah. It, the, uh, it was yeah. when Gen 2 first dropped, and it was a meganium that he, he hopped up out of the seat to go. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, they <laughs> they specifically uh, said, you know, they were recorded on their, their thing. The guys are going to be so jealous. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. man. And, and I mean... <sighs> You you can't. You can never actively dodge calls. There's other ways to handle things. Um, I mean, I'm not. I'm really not. I I've done it many times. I'm not opposed to playing Pokemon Go on duty. However, as long not as you're point. not ignoring stuff. Yeah, you're not hurting people. You know. Oh man, I'm so disappointed. We're in the same app all right. I can see myself across from you on camera, Joe. Oh, you're the Hariyama? Yeah. I literally dodged around and standing in front of you, but it didn't change it on your side. That's so disappointing. (laughs) So disappointing. And by the way, Um, after they got the Snorlax, they went and got a Togetic. So they caught that one. I mean, career changing. Both of those. Career changing. I'm just saying. Uh, Oh, we got, we got, we got, we got this going on. Take me to church. Brother Dooley Productions needs to be celebrated up in the church of the podcast because they have subscribed to tier one for 10 months currently. That is more months than Joe has ever subscribed. Thank you, Dooley. Take me to church. It has been duly noted. That's true. I should probably actually use my uh, Amazon Prime to subscribe. <laughs> that is killing me. Uh, now you have free money that you're not throwing at the show. Good on you, Joe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So how do you I mean, honestly yeah. how do you go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So oh, these people right. afterwards and so this is all recorded of them talking about how they right. went, went to the different locations, caught it. Then they tried to claim when they were interviewed, no no no, we were just having a conversation about Pokemon Go. We weren't actually playing it. <laughs> okay, sure. Whatever. Um how do you here's what I don't understand. How do you think you're going to win an appeal? I, uh, I don't know. They've got the recording, so I I don't see how they could win an appeal. It's it's not as if it was he said she said. No, it's you said, and we know what you said. Yeah, it's 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 it's. Mm. I again, obviously, you know, I'm all about. Uh, uh, you know, playing when you can, and especially back in those days, there's a very well, at least for this show, a very famous story that I tell of having that shadow and realizing it's in the backyard of somebody, and I couldn't get to it, and it drove me crazy, crazy because I was like the first shadow I saw of a Snorlax, and this night and it was just so hard, blah blah. Yeah, come on though, you can never neglect your duties to play a video game, or you're gonna have a whole lot of time on your hands to play video games. Uh, so man, we've got the teardown, we've got uh, cyberbullying, and we've got improvements to raids. Interesting. So, Coach Kev says that by appealing it, they were left on the payroll for three years. Oh, I, that's I didn't, why. I didn't see that in the article, at least we had, but 
<laughs> Dooley. Uh, we put David in all caps and then uh, uh, Nightbot got him. But it says it doesn't matter. They did not respond to robbery in progress. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, no, uh, I, I support good cops. I do not support these these two. They they should have responded. Yeah. To and and honestly, there should not be a system where it takes three years to fix the appeal, and we have to we being the general royal we, but the taxpayer we is in Dooley's case, where they're paying them salary for three years. Is presumably were they? I mean, I don't know how it works. Were they working? Were they not working? Either way, ultimately they got terminated and that's i watch um again i know it's a tv show but i watch uh the rookie and they've actually dealt with a little bit of that uh in the second season i think of racism and 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 sweeping things under the rug is that the one with uh, nathan fillion yes yes it is maybe i'll have to give that a try so uh all right so we're which one, pick one two or three uh two all right I actually was just clicking boxes. I didn't care about the number. I just wanted you to say oh. something. <laughs> Magic is looking to improve Pokemon Go raids. Uh, so what are they? Okay. All right. One. I hate these fake screenshots because just like the original ad we talked about earlier in the show, it gets your hopes up for nothing. But I'm telling you, this this mock-up that I presume, I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't presume that as that because this is Go Hub, which is not official. Um. Man, that looks so good. It's like this maze that you're you're gonna be in, and then there's Mewtwo, and I don't know. So, what are they looking to actually do? Hey, is this a is this this a, this a Secret Strike Force article, Joe? <laughs> uh, so not this article in particular, but I did see. Um, oh, Strike Force is still worthless. Gotcha. I, I did see somebody from the uh, Strike Force tweet out uh, Strike Force. Now you've got me saying it. Out striking? Um, <laughs> uh, I did see them tweeting out about uh, this coming down the pipeline that uh, Niantic was going to be asking for players' opinions, specifically players who raid quite a bit, uh, about different ways that they could improve uh, raiding. Uh, and then the participants uh, were given a code for three super incubators, eight incense, and eight lucky eggs. So... Um, but yeah, so we don't know the details of the information that they re- have received from it. Um, I, I don't know. Raid, uh, raids are definitely boring. Um, because you, you get in there, you just beat the guy up, and then you either catch it or you don't. Like, there's not real... Unless you're trying to low man it, so one or two mana raid, there's not really any skill involved. I mean, sounds like a Friday night in high school to me. <laughs> football. You just high school football. You just get in so, there and beat them up. And you try to catch it if you can. You know, football, man. Um, okay, so a couple things. Uh, quickly, Dooley says, I'm coming through loud and clear, but they can barely hear you. Uh, so you can work on that part. But Coach Kev. Says I'm part of the raid focus group. I'm getting interviewed Sunday. If you don't name drop brother Pastor Dogwood at the Church of Pokemon Go podcast, I also love you. It doesn't matter. Uh, Nolte says give Mega Community Day Pokemon. Hold on, give Mega Community Day Pokemon the Community Day move. People will raid them to get a good one with the the uh, mine already. Uh, yeah, and Coach Kev says he can give feedback when the interview is over. Absolutely. You've got the speak pipe, or you can send us an email, tag us on Twitter, however you want to do. Um, that would be cool. Uh, I, I, Okay, so I don't play on the level that even you play on, Joe. And I know this week you said you had a tough time, but you probably still played more than I did. And that's not a brag. It's just whatever. I still made it level 40, so anybody can do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's what Rock Caddy uh, said. Yeah, I mean, he's not, he's he's a thousand percent right. If I, if I can do it, anybody can do it. You probably do it a lot faster than I did. Uh, 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 raids, like we just knocked one out in thirty seconds or less. You know, forty five ish. I didn't notice the exact time. I know the time. I didn't see the time. I mean, granted, it it was an absol. It wasn't a legendary raid or anything like that. But sure. yeah. But for me, I mean, the most amount of time I'm spending on one is like two minutes. 
or whatever the 200 seconds are. It's been a long time since I pushed that whole 200 whatever seconds down the pipe. Uh, but in reality, for me, it says, oh, I get to go in and get to hang out with Joe or, or Nolte or whoever invited me, possibly catch this thing, this Pokemon, and then move on with my life. So I, I don't think they're boring. I think it's just it is what it is. But I can see, I say all that to say, I can see like you, Barry, or even uh, like the Terry Wolf, um, who plays a lot more. And like Terry and other people who I think Nolte even is on that level who raid a lot. It's just repetitive. But let's, I'm asking a real question here. I was about to say let's be real, but that, that sets a different tone. I'm asking an honest question. Isn't the heart of Pokemon repetition? Yeah. I mean, when it comes to mobile games in general, uh, it's... Well, okay, even that. The, the, I mean, ta the tactic Pokemon is yeah. the grind. The grind. They, they keep you engaged by keeping you grinding. And, yeah. Ni Niantic just likes to grind. Uh, yeah. uh, but I mean, even on the, the regular games, because I've only really played let's go evie and um <laughs> i like the comment from mr tambourine here the the waiting time is worse than the actual raid time yes there, there's a lot of times where the wait time is longer than the raid itself yes yes um oh dooley's title is great i uh, have to wait till the end to find out what it is uh coach kess is 40s for scrubs yeah no you're right uh uh coach kev also says i think raids should give more xl candy we shouldn't have to do so many legendary raids to max out a good good one out max yes. a good one out i mixed up my words not him i fully concur with yeah. that uh so now for some bad news well it seems like from the headlines bad is this from the self road being cyberbullied after reporting wayfair abusing activities in vietnam this is by user Yen So Mo on Reddit. And we'll read it and let, let uh, uh, Joe kind of take over for me here. I write this post only for sharing my personal experience about being cyberbullied after reporting Wayfair abusing activities. Vietnam has recently been known for, for an infamous huge pokey sub cluster around the Sock Bombo Cultural Museum and Preservation Area. You can find more information via this link. And I, I've seen this picture. Of a jacking it, account, it's probably twenty plus stops so and I, three. I yeah. tried to count it, and I'm sure there are some covered up by the gyms, but there's yeah. there's at least forty there. Oh wow! So plus, forty plus three gyms plus three gyms, all on top of each other. Like this is not zoomed out. You can literally sit in one spot because I can see the person that the avatar and spend every last one of them. That's that is extreme. Uh, so, Joe, I, I realize there's a lot more to this article. What's the, the summary? Yeah, so what they're doing, and this is really an issue with Wayfair itself. Um, so what people are doing is they are spamming Wayfair specifically to uh, get things approved that they want. Because if, if, you, if you have enough people say, yeah, no, add that stop, it gets added. There's there's not really an, an audit system that like a good audit system on Niantic's part. And so they they gamed the system to uh have this cluster of of stops and gyms. Like there's so many stops that if you don't have a plus or a gotcha, you, you can't spin half of them because they're overlapping that bad yeah you don't want to touch them and, and yeah you're gonna you're gonna yeah yep yep and so oh, i'm so sorry joe i oh, stepped yeah you stole you stole yep, the yep. yep yep what is going yep. on yep 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 you okay joe um, <laughs> yes yep yep uh, <laughs> and uh and wayfair can ab be abused in the opposite direction as well People can spam uh, reject messages to make sure stops get removed or never get created in the first place. And so it, it can become a bit of a, a turf war in general. Uh, and so, yeah, so this person reported uh, the, the abusive nature of, of people spamming requests in one area to get this 
this crazy cluster, and now apparently they're getting uh, a bunch of verbal abuse because yeah. of cyberbullying. Ad- talking about admins, and an admin actually asked or, or called in the question the validity of it and started getting cyberbullied uh, to to the extent that um, an empty hand was named uh, on the hand is the brain of blankhead John, and uh, it was quickly removed by Niantic, but it still made it through. To be posted for a while. Um, I mean, the, the short and sweet, not sweet, but the short of it is Niantic could do better with this. And I'm not saying it's Niantic's fault, but when we get to the point, I mean, this is not the first cyberbullying story we've talked about with this game, right? With with people going into towns and, and being, you know, bullying through the game itself. Uh, 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 spoofers going through and bullying. Uh, and now, here it is in, in forums and Reddit groups and everything else, uh, actively, you know, bullying. For what? I mean, in all honesty, for what? You're going to max out your bag. You're going to fill everything you need. This is such a, I guess, so many words that are inappropriate for the show. But I'm going to call it a dense cluster here that it really does no good. It's like taking the salt shaker. Do you like some salt on your eggs? And dumping the whole thing on your eggs. It it ultimately does you no good. And the fact that you have to bully and be nasty about it, I think, honestly, I think Niantic should just eliminate all but one gem, one stop, done. Well, and I'm surprised that they don't have some algorithm already in place to check right? for the density of uh, points of interest already set up. And so that something like this couldn't happen. Like for instance, um, I went. I recently went to the Telus Museum. Okay, uh, I don't. Okay. You, you may know of the Telus Museum because it's in Georgia. But um, tell us about it. Nah. Uh, so went to the Telus Museum, and you would expect that there's uh, several points of interest there, and there was a decent amount, maybe ten or fifteen. But you have to walk around the entire museum to get them. There's not. There's nothing like this. Uh, and so even if it's a place with a lot of potential points of interest, there still shouldn't be where you sit in one spot and you can reach 40 stops. Like, yeah. Like yeah, I, uh, reaching maybe five from a single from a single location is probably the most that Niantic should allow. I mean, that's debatable, but definitely not into the double digits. So, yeah, um, I, <laughs> Mr. I don't want to... Mr. Tambourine, maybe they need to form a task force to look into <laughs> it. <laughs> look into it. Uh, and Coach Kev does have a point. You can report abuse and fake Pokestops and gems privately, so this person must not have known how to do it. Um, yes, I mean, that is, that is probably part of it. Uh, I, I don't well, know, but in general, we can, I, I would hope we can all agree that uh Niantic could i mean this is just it should be enough that the game itself should be like hey why is this thing red flagging constantly because there's too many things going on in one spot well but they weren't they also weren't trying to specifically report the stops ultimately yes that is a way to handle this but they were specifically trying to report the behavior and the the abuse of the system yeah. um so it wasn't it, like <sighs> If that makes sense, uh, they weren't they weren't trying to to report individual stops, which they may not have been able may even been able to click on individual stops to report them. Yeah, because um, uh, I've never personally reported a stop, but I assume there's a report button on it when you click it, or maybe you go into Wayfarers. I don't, I don't even know how to report a stop to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't either. But um, you know, this kind of ties in with the story that we had uh, a couple weeks ago that we're not sure was 100 percent real, but at least the theory of it of you know, scanning the stop and then getting yelled at and put on Facebook and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, the, the bottom line is Pokemon Go podcast is against bad behavior and really let's be better human beings. And I absolutely love how this person ends. The <laughs> I was after all these that. experiences. Yeah. After all these experiences, I've decided to delete my account and stay anonymous oh. for a while for my own safety. No, no, no. You're, you're getting where I go. You just jumped ahead. I hope that my post would draw attention enough for Niantic to make some critical changes 
to protect the abusing reporters and no one in the future would have to suffer the horrible experiences like me. Then they go, sorry for the long post. And here's a potato. And it's three potatoes made look like Doug Trio, which is great. <laughs> uh, Clearly so. they should have had some curly fries. So if they were in a lowland Doug Trio. <laughs> That's a French Doug Trio. Um, all right. So we're going to finish with the in-depth APK teardown from the Pokey Miners. Who are fortunately not buried in the Pokey Mines anymore. <laughs> wow. Got a little get a little dark there. No, it's a good story. They're not there anymore. Only a few of them didn't make it out. Or they didn't have the ropes to like <laughs> out of the mine real fast. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh I know about the games. I can make jokes. So uh there were some updates. So the the Johto Tour music has apparently been added to the background. Now the Johto Tour is not until next month, so we've got a little bit of time before that happens. Um, they ha- are doing a PvP refactor, which a bunch of this is is coding language, so it's not going to be... Uh, most people are, are going to be like, what? Basically, they changed a lot of the, uh, the back-end um, data transfers for PvP. Uh, so sending information to and from the servers... Uh, trying to make it more reliable during battles. Uh, There are some hints at Pokemon Sleep integration. Uh, We don't know. I I haven't heard anything about when Pokemon Sleep is coming out, but the Pokemon Sleep integration apparently includes the Pokemon Go Plus device. Actually, it's a Go Plus Plus device. Uh, And... (laughs) Sorry, I just looked up Pokemon Sleep release date and got initial release date 2020. <laughs> uh, well, I mean that's when it was announced, but apparently they're there getting no updates on it yet. Apparently they're getting somewhat closer because they're starting to add stuff to the back end for Pokemon yeah. Go. Um, and then they're doing uh apparently route updates. I can't remember. So route tab is getting added to the nearby menu. Interesting. Uh, and then it says some point of interest tip colors added for the route point of interest list. So I wonder if that's going to help us um, further identify where someone is on our nearby list, where a Pokemon is, um, using some color-coded routes in-game. We'll have to wait and see what that all means. Um, yes. Apparently, there is uh, some new, a new quest service uh, when you start a rocket encounter. Um, oh, okay, for a hot second, I, I was kind of hoping it was like Oculus Quest. So, like, oh, I can play, I can play <laughs> Pokemon Go on my VR. Done. Uh, I mean, all right. And then some so. uh, troubling things. Uh, there, they have found some items that are referencing to ads yeah i see that so google ads and a new niantic ad library is getting added um there is some audio updates so it gives us more control over the audio track i guess um powering up stops so the bonus button works just fine (laughs) yeah exactly uh, powering up stops. Apparently, the bonus items will now have a unique color if the stop is powered up. Uh, similar to, I assume, similar to gyms. If your team owns the gym, uh, then uh, if I remember correctly, I mean, it's been a while since I've actually paid attention to it, but if I remember correctly, there's a, for me, I'm Mystic, there's a little blue coloration on the bonus items that I got because my uh, team owned the gym. And I assume that it's red for for you, and it would be yellow uh, for our imaginary uh, <laughs> our, our imaginary third host. That's uh, shots at uh, the 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 uh, not the mystic. You're mystic. He takes shots at the instinct. Yep. Funny. Uh, so yeah, and apparently, let's see. Do they have a link? They might actually have a link here to. They do. There's a, a SoundCloud uh, link in here with the um, a SoundCloud 
I was, I was, I was giving it came through on the stream. It, so. it it was coming through on the stream briefly. Um, but there's a, a SoundCloud link, uh, which I put in the chat here, uh, that has the uh, Pokemon Go Johto Tour 2022 music. All right. Uh, of course, there's a lot more breakdown on the bullet points that Joe talked about where you can, if you're into coding and those kind of things, it actually talks about a lot of what they can be using the uh, the pub subs for and the sockets and the lot, you know, different things that I understand enough to, to, to stay out of it. But, mm-hmm. you know, if you're curious, this thing actually really breaks down a lot of inf- interesting information here. Yep, yep. So, oh, we found it on this one. Uh, cool <laughs> video. And, oh man we're right on time so we have one of my favorite moments of the show right before we get to trivia because that's a lot of people's favorite moment it is the pipes that speak to us <laughs> uh we have four and uh here you, we go you, hold up hold up you know why the spikes the the pipes speak to you right it's because mario but- and luigi are hanging out in them no, 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 <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. All right, here he goes. Uh, Ken from Lord Up. You always do that. I should have hit it and then said who it was. It's going to take a second. <laughs> this hit, is the but... sound of buffering. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Joe, it's Ken from the Lord Up podcast. I'm sitting here with Coach Kev, and we're talking Whoa. shit. Hope you guys are doing good. Whoa. Keep up the good work. Appreciate y'all. Hey, say what's up. What's up? <laughs> what's up? Wait, 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 wait. Hold <laughs> oh, on a second. I, I just don't check what I heard. Yo, Joe, it's Ken from the Lured Up Podcast. I'm- Take me to church. <laughs> Oh, the bastard dog we're here to say there's more than one host on this show, sir. <laughs> he was an associate pastor. You shall pay your respects or we shall ban you, Jezebel. Take me to church. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got. Mm, <laughs> so, you know, all right. So, Devo site as in. Poro site, John says, don't correct my speaking, sir. Here we go. And now for a Pokemon Go podcast, speak pipe poetry moment <laughs> brought to you by me, your Pokemon <laughs> Fine Arts host, Evo Sight. Ode to Vinipede. Vinipede, you are such a cheeky little rascal. When I go to hunt for you, you give me such a hassle. Your shifty little bitty eyes, they stare straight through my soul. Your scamper and scowl, I think, aren't so dear, while others cower and overt their eyes in fear. One day, you'll evolve to be the stately, venerable Scullipede, and when that day should come to be, all shall bow to your authority. Then your reign of terror will let everyone know that instead of stuffing you in a ball, we should have left you alone. And this has been another <laughs> fine Pokemon Go podcast moment brought to you via SpeakPipe. By me, your speak pipe host, Evo, saying good night and hippie Evie loves you. No! <laughs> and, and, no. That, and, and that is how the book of Pokemon Psalms gets started. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh you're not wrong, man. Poke Psalms. Uh, mm, all right. Uh, so here's Defo Cite again. Hey, Joe. You uh, forgot to read my experience of the week. What? No, I'm kidding. I didn't really get anything. I got no shinies, no Hondas. Uh, pretty much it was catch and, well, not release, grind, I guess you say. And uh, But I, I do appreciate all of the uh, gifts from all of you, our listeners. But uh, well, your listeners. I guess I'm a listener, so who knows? Well, I guess it's, I did record something, so... It's kind of confusing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I do appreciate you guys and your show, and uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, did some raids with your other listeners, and uh, thanks, guys. That that is too <laughs> slight on the Snorlax. <laughs> so 
you you have you have stopped being a host and you are now a pokemon we are going to be sending people to capture you <laughs> the vakite vakite has one more to slight me with hey joe what time is it <laughs> oh my <laughs> that, was fair. that one's fair i'll give you that joe <laughs> It is time for Random Trivia. <laughs> and this week, I'm going to talk about Lugia, uh, especially since uh, what well, we didn't <laughs> mention. <laughs> so for those other podcast li- listeners, Charles just threw his headset down and pushed his microphone away from him. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Hey, just push it too far. What time is it? Go, go, go. So part of the uh, the the Pokeminers in depth APK teardown, uh, apparently they added special flame effects to Shadow Lugia and Shadow Ho Oh. Uh, so I wanted to talk about Lugia, which everyone who's anyone is disappointed that Shadow Lugia, the asset, does not match the Shadow Lugia from uh, Pokemon Gale of Darkness. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Niantic's not cool like that. Um, Lugia is the diving Pokemon. It lives in the water, but it's psychic flying type, which has always been real weird to people. And I I fully uh, support that uh, reaction of it being weird. But yeah, so Lugia first pops up in Generation 2. Thus, it's tied to Johto. I'm sure that it'll be part of the, uh, the Johto tour. Uh, The Pokedex entry from Gold Version says, It is said that it quietly spends its time deep at the bottom of the sea because its powers are too strong. Too strong. Um, If I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to find... I thought one of the Pokedex entries said it, or maybe it's just in the anime. Um, Talks about how... The yeah, Lugia is the leader of the legendary birds, and that when they fight over territory, Lugia is quote unquote the only Pokemon that can quell their ceaseless fighting. Um, and that that's shown. You better in... stop fighting. I'm gonna dive into the water. You better watch. <laughs> better respect. Um... That's the Lugia voice. You better watch. You better watch. Uh, so yeah, that, and that's actually shown in the second Pokemon movie, uh, where he stops the fighting between the two of them, or the mm-hmm. three of them. Sorry, the trio of uh, birds, Moltres and Zapdos and Articuno. Um, so Lugia uh, apparently was created specifically for the second movie uh, by. Uh, Takisha Shudo, Takishi Shudo, however you say that. I'm sure that I messed it up. Um, and this actually makes Lugia the only Pokemon not created by a member of Game Freak. So uh, that's pretty interesting in and of itself. Uh, Lugia is based off of a Plesiosaur uh, with its aquatic tendencies. Uh, the name... Lugia is a combination of Luna, which is Latin for moon, and beluga, as in a beluga whale. I looked up Plesiosauria fairly, and uh, no, yeah, they they absolutely modeled it after what they think this dinosaur looked like. Yeah, I mean, Uh, it, it looks a bit like a Loch Ness monster, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so Lugia, Shadow Lugia will probably be part of the uh, the Johto um, event that's coming up. We'll have to wait and see. Wait we'll and have wait. to find out. <laughs> Duly. No, its name comes from Lugie as it hatched out of Games Freak's nose. <laughs> <laughs> You, ha- you okay over there, Charles? No. We have another speak pipe that came so, in during all this. So Lugia is basically Wolverine. 
I see the confusion on your face. But Lugia was known as Pokemon X in the anime before it was officially named Lugia. <laughs> Not to be confused with, we- with Weapon Ooh. X. <laughs> I know where you're going. I can do it. Uh, <laughs> uh, you all right there? You, you a little tired? Well, I got so flustered, I actually deleted all the voicemails, so uh, we don't have a Devocate, uh Joe, what time it is anymore. Oh, I, you murderer. I, he can call it again. He, he's going to anyway. He's going to slight me some more, and then the preacher's going to come out. Uh, but then... It refreshed the page. We got another one mid show. Mid show from Anonymous. Uh. What's up? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I try to catch it really fast. I won't turn it. I won't keep it down. But... What's up? <laughs> okay. Is it me or is that Mr. Tambourine 19? It could be. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> or Coach Kev, one of the two. I'm um, not Coach Kev. No. no. Yes, we deleted it after we played it. Oh, wait. Now another one. Now an- Oh, my God. All right, Coach Kev. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Charles, Coach Kev. Figured I'd call just to acknowledge you, being that the <laughs> previous speak pipes last week didn't give you any love. No so love. I'm here to just say, Thank you for the great podcast and the entertainment you give every week. And to anybody else who calls in and leaves a speak pipe and doesn't acknowledge Charles, you'll be sleeping with the fishes. All right? Yeah! <laughs> you watched it. You heard the coach. More like sleeping right. with the Lugia. I was going to say, is that making <laughs> Lugia after sleeping with the fishes? But I appreciate you, Coach Cav. You got me. Coach Cav has now got a prime spot on the first pew of the Church of the Pokemon. So, um, hey, you want to email us? Show at PokemonGoPodcast.com. Lee Speak Pipes. That came in live during the show and before the show. You go to PokemonGoPodcast.com. Over on the right-hand side of the screen is a tab. It says, hey, leave your voicemail. It's green because we had to pick a color that was not in the game, right? So it is green as opposed to one of the teams that you can be. And uh, 90 seconds and any device has a microphone and touches the internet. There you go. Reddit is our slash Pokemon Go podcast where you can answer the question of the week, which this week again is, are you a bad friend if you don't open gifts? Something along those lines? <laughs> yes. If you don't uh, open slash send gifts. Yeah. Uh, Twitter's Pokemon uh, Go pod. Uh, Twitch.tv is here on Twitch.tv slash Pokemon Go podcast. Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern where you can join some awesome people like Coach Kev. I didn't even do that on purpose. He literally is the first name on my list because that's where he belongs. <laughs> Coach Kev 413, uh, Lurks and Commander Root, uh, our bots, Maddie and Son, M. Nolte, Mr. Jimmy 19, Shawarm 668, Civilian on Base, Sony Playstations, <laughs> with an S, and uh, we had... Uh, we it had doesn't early- show Dooley. Uh, yeah, Dooley is not shown. And then early on in the show, uh, we had uh, uh, some new Mickey Head was here. Um, you know, so yeah, awesome, awesome. Thanks for coming out and joining us. Uh, Joe, I don't think we talk about this much, but if they miss the live show but want to see the video part, where can they do that? Uh, you can head on over to YouTube if you uh, just do a search for Giant Size Team Up. Uh, you will find us there, and pretty much all of the most recent posts have been, actually, I think all of the posts for the last several months have been our shows, uh, but there is a playlist also where we upload all of the episodes too. so if you want specifically just Pokemon Go podcast, then just look up that playlist. Uh, I'm trying to do a joke here in the chat. Uh, oh, well, you're not very good at that. Strong, Julie. Uh, I said, my chopped liver is like more like avocado toast. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'll now Dilly showing up on the list. Kevin uh, 092 is now on the list. Uh, soon some other names. Uh, nope, that's it. So, and then we had uh, Damo pop Damio pop in. <laughs> yeah, he popped in and popped out. He was just asking if we're doing raids. Right. Yeah. Like, no, I'm Fair just enough. sitting on my computer. So the only time I do raids is if I get invited. 
All right. Joe, where can they find you on the web, sir? You can find me on twitter.com slash Joseph underscore Ard. Don't forget that underscore. It's very important. Very important. Embrace it. You can find me across social media as Rock Got a Pod, Rock Got a Podcasting, or Charles McFall. And all that is going on. Tune in next week to hear Joe say. I wonder if I do a search for Charles McPhail, if it will come up with you. <laughs> hey, so much. <laughs> now somebody's going to do that.